the Razer Black Shark V2X. Coming in at a current price tag of $59.99. If at any point during the video you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below. The build quality here is really good for the price. You get soft faux leather on the top band, really clean, nice green accents with being mostly blacked out, but like the cable is all green, which I think just looks so good. You get thinner, almost like wire bands for the adjustability for your headset. Now I have heard some people complain about adjusting it and it not staying in place. Mine stayed in place perfectly fine. Uh, and it did not like, some people have said that it kind of just like opens up and it moves over time. Uh, I think that that may be like a quality control problem as I haven't had any problems with mine at all. Now, while the build quality doesn't feature tons of metal, like on the ear cups, they're just plastic. This was actually a good choice as the headset itself is very light and it's not too heavy on the head. Now, also a lot of people have talked about, well, the design of the headset, it's kind of strange. It's kind of out there. Why did they use those thin wires? And the reason is because the Black Shark is actually a Russian attack helicopter and it's nicknamed the Black Shark. It's basically like Russia's version of the Apache, but not as good because USA, baby. But those Russian attack helicopter pilots actually use headsets that look exactly like that. Uh, so that's why the design is kind of like that uh, aviator helicopter style headset. I think that's really cool. Now for the controls, there is a very nice volume wheel that has a really good amount of resistance and a very slight tactile bumps. And I do mean like really, really slight. It's like a barely a click. Um, but it's it's really nice. It feels very premium, honestly. And then you do have a pop in, pop out button for the mic mute on and off, which is very nice. For connectivity, this uses a non-detachable, very vibrant green cable. I have the USB version, but you can also get this in a 3.5 version. So if you do wanna use it with your consoles or anything else, uh, you can obviously use it with your PC and your console. So for some, that may be a better option. Now, sound quality here is quite honestly very impressive. It's still shocking how good every single one of these headsets are with sound quality. Every single one of them on the list is really good. But the Black Shark V2X, the trebles are pretty clear here, though not over boosted like the HyperX, which is a good thing. The mids are good. They're slightly muddy, but I do mean slightly. The bass is full, not boomy, and overall sounds great for both music and gaming. Listening to music on these is awesome. Playing games on these is great. It's quite easy to figure out where footsteps are coming from and Razer does also have that virtual 7.1 surround sound. But let's move on to comfort. Like I said before, the comfort here is really, really good. It's really nice. It's lightweight, so long gaming marathons will not result in fatigue. They don't press too tightly. They're not too loose. The earmuffs are pleather on the outside of it, and then a nice fabric on the inside that feels great against my ears. There's thicker foam inside the earmuffs, so even if you do have a larger more pointy out ears, you're not going to hit those drivers and it's not gonna cause some discomfort. For most head types, this is going to be very, very comfortable. Now, mic quality here is actually not bad compared to most gaming headsets out there. You won't have any problems with your friends hearing you. But again, don't take my word for it. Take a listen to the mic test. Check, check, check. This is the mic test of the Razer Black Shark V2X. Check, check, check. One, two, three. And that is how the Black Shark V2X sounds. For compatibility, this is compatible with PC with the USB version and then PC PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch with that 3.5 millimeter version. Again, if you want to check out this exact same product, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. And if you want to check out my main channel with longer form content, you can check that out right here. But this is a consumer tech review, high speed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.